Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So, uh, so this is the famous bezel function of order zero. So, uh, so, so it's given by this. Find out for which values of x will the series converge. Or another way of me asking the same question is find the domain for this function. Okay, so, uh, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so to find the domain, we, um, we, we we're going to use the uh, the ratio test. So when it comes to the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. We need to get a n plus one, which is this thing here, divided by a n. So divided by a n is the same as times in the reciprocal of a n, which is this. So now it's just a matter of tidying this whole thing up. So tidying up the uh, the uh, the whole thing. Let's do it step by step. So if you look at this, this and uh, and this thing here, uh, if you merge the two together, you you you. You're, you're, you're either going to get one or negative, uh, you're, you're, you're either going to get one or negative one or one negative one, whatever. If you merge the two together and then you're taking the absolutes here. So if it's one or negative one, well, if you're taking the absolute, you, you can pretty much ignore these two. So, uh, so just ignoring these two will then take you to here. So, uh, so hang on, let me think. And then also multiply this out. So two times n will be two n, two times one will be two. And then, uh, and then looking at this, um, uh, this times this, this times this, that will then give you this. Okay, so, um, and then what else? Yeah, that's it. So, so this thing here will then take you to here. Now take, now tie it up even further. Uh, let me think. Um, so visualize this as being one block multiplying another block. So, so this is your 2n, uh, 2n, and this is your 2, your 2. And then, uh, and then visualize this thing here as n factorial uh, times n factorial. Okay, and uh, and uh, and let me think. And then, and then visualize this as uh, as one block multiplying another block. And then you've got squared. Squared means this exact same thing, this exact same thing times by itself, times by itself. So so squared here means the exact same thing multiplied by itself. Okay, so uh, so this whole thing here will then take you to here, and then, and then, uh, and then, and then this will cancel out with this. Uh, what else? Uh, this will cancel out with this. Uh, that that will leave you with x squared, x squared, uh, n factorial, n factorial, n factorial, n factorial, and then you you've got a four here, and then uh, and then you've got one block. Oh yeah, visualize this as being n plus one times n factorial, and the same. I uh, visualize this block here as being n plus one times n factorial. So this whole thing here will then become this, okay? And then, um, and then, and then what? Let me think. Uh, 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 and then, and then this block here will cancel out with this block. This block here will cancel out with this block. So, uh, so that will leave you. With this, so so your normal routine when you get to here is is to um, to group all the ends together. So uh, so so grouping all the ends together, that will then give you that will then give you this. Hang on, that will then give you this. Um, hang on, let me think. Uh, that will then give you one over uh, n plus one, uh, and then n plus one, uh, uh, and then uh, and then you've got x squared over Four, but then the the thing is, n is always n n is moving from from zero to infinity. N is always positive, so you don't really need the absolutes here. You can just take it out, and then that that will leave you to the to this, uh, uh, and then and then x squared is always going to be positive. Um, x squared is always going to be positive, and when you take the absolute of something that's positive, you can here the if the absolute sign here is redundant, so that will then take you to here. Okay, but 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 hopefully next time you should realize that you can just jump from here straight to here because um, this will always be positive and ends well. Ho hopefully next time you can see that you can just jump from here to here and then uh, and then once once you're here um, once you're here the limit of this remember x is um, x is fixed once you set it in motion. So for example, right from the start, if, if you put let's say if you put uh, 999 into x then thereafter 
right from the start, if you put nine nine hundred and ninety nine into the x, then then the x stays fixed through throughout the whole process. So so even though x is a variable, once you set it, once you set the the, uh, the problem in motion, it will always stay as nine nine nine. So once you set the uh, once you set the the x to be a number, then it stays fixed. So if, if you put it 999 into here, as n tends to infinity, the whole thing here will head towards zero. So even though x is a variable, um, once you set it in motion, it stays fixed. And then as n tends to infinity, the whole thing here will head towards zero. So what, what we've done so far is this. Um, well, the, the, the limit, how, well, when, when you get to this stage here, it means that um, the, the limit will always be zero, no matter what value value of x you put in into here it, it will always be zero even if you put a very very big number into the x it, as n tends to infinity the overall thing will be zero so so it means that overall no matter what you put into the x this whole thing here will be zero meaning meaning the uh, the, the the series here will always converge no matter what value you you put into this into this x here it will always converge so so the domain for for this function is uh, is 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 everything on uh, on on the uh, on the real number line. So the domain here x could be anything on the real number line, and 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 the radius of convergence here when, when it goes all the way to infinity and negative infinity, the radius of convergence will be infinity. Okay, but but the the, the point is that um you, you can put a, the, the the domain here will be x belongs to anything on the real number line. Okay.